dito sa Kababayan Today at ngayon naman makikilala niyo ang aking kaibigan na si AJ Kalomay. Isa po siyang editor ng mga pelikula at television. Ladies and gentlemen, AJ Kalamay is here on Kababayan today. Hello. AJ, Hi. high five. High five. High five. <laughs> Thanks for having me, Giselle. Thank you so much. I know you've been here before to talk about the success of your Kickstarter campaign, mm -hmm. but I'd like to talk to you more about growing up Filipino-American mm -hmm. and what that means to you mm -hmm. specifically. So where were your parents born in the Philippines? Uh, yes, yeah, so my mom is uh, born and raised in Leyte, uh, mm -hmm. near Tacloba, in a small town called MacArthur. Uh, my dad was born in Iloilo and then moved to uh, Manila uh, okay. later on for school. Uh, they came here around 1969, and they met actually here in West LA because uh, my mom went. To, uh, she became a you know she went to UCLA as a nurse, of course. Okay, <laughs> so your mom's and, a nurse. Yeah, so she settled in the West LA area. All right. And they met here in the area, and they got a house for like thirty thousand dollars. In the day, <laughs> I know, down the street. Wow, so, amazing! Yeah, yeah. Okay, so d have you ever been back to Leyte or to Tacloban? Or l definitely, you've yeah. been. Okay, yeah, how yeah. many times? Uh, I've been to the Philippines five times. Uh, That's a la lot. Yeah, last time was there. I was there was two thousand nine. Okay, so, uh, so tell me about the first time you went to the Philippines. Was that a culture shock for you? How it, old were it you? It was. Yeah, so I was twenty five, and I had just graduated from UCLA. Of course, you know, after going through the whole experience of doing PCN, Filipino Cultural Nights, yes. and part of the Filipino Club being a counselor for the Filipino students, you know, then I went to the Philippines. It was still, you know, culture. Of course, there's nothing that would have prepared me uh, for that experience, you know. I mean, even just the airport alone, even just seeing all the people, the feeling of the wet, the heat. The, you yes, know? The, the air smells <laughs> yeah, different, it does. right? It does, yeah. <laughs> It's yeah. fine, you know. Um, but so was... you 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 experienced the motherland at a very late stage. I did. Not late, but you know, much later on in life. Yeah. Marunong ka ba magtagalog? Uh, Nakakaintinde. Opo. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I can understand pretty much everything except if I try to read it or if it's on TV. <laughs> Sometimes it's a little too fast for me. So when you went to the Philippines, were you able to brush up on your Tagalog over there? Um, you know, I tried, but <laughs> <laughs> of course I get funny looks or people would laugh, you know. Um, but actually I went uh, to Leyte and to MacArthur because uh, my uncle had passed away. So we went to the house and I was expecting kind of a somber mood, but there were so many people there in the house, you know. It was like a party, town. right? Yeah, and definitely. there's lots of food. Yeah. People are drinking. Yeah. They're, yeah, yeah. they're playing mahjong. Yeah. You know, so yes, it definitely is a very colorful culture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And everyone's speaking Waray, so it was a little Waray, different. Yeah, okay. So. Marunong ka mag Waray? Not so much. Can you teach yes. me one thing? Put you on the spot. Uh, never, <laughs> never mind, never mind. I don't want to dis yeah. <laughs> disrespect uh, my mother's language. Okay, so. <laughs> Talk to me about being Filipino American and growing up here in Southern California. Mm -hmm. What was that experience like knowing you were Filipino but mm -hmm. not really connecting as much with the culture until you were yeah. in college? Yeah. Well, you know, it was, it was about going to family parties and having a lot of cousins, eating the food, of course, all the wonderful food, and just having a lot of uncles and aunties who. I didn't know if it were necessarily related to us by blood, but mm -hmm. it was, I just knew it was sort of this big community. That, yeah, this big yeah. extended family. Yeah, like, yeah. oh, that person, that's my cousin, <laughs> but sort of, but we're yeah. not. Re you know, it's kind yeah. of difficult to explain yeah. that, right? How has that helped you or inspired you mm -hmm. in your work? Because tell me about your major mm -hmm. at UCLA. Yeah, so I was actually a psychobiology major with a minor, and I had a minor in cognitive science. And you're an editor now. Yeah, that's the path that everyone does, of course, right? <laughs> but you completed. You graduated because, I you know, I, I'm sure there was pressure in the family yeah. Um, yeah. to be what? Well, of course, you know, the whole cliche, oh, try to be a doctor, go to, go to something in medicine. And I think it's because, you know, I mean, there's not knowledge of film and TV so much. Um, and, of course, you know, the parents just want you to have a, 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 a better stable, life. A, yeah, a stable right. career, you right. know. Be steady, not struggle, not take risks. You ultimately followed your heart. Mm -hmm. I mean, it takes guts to do that. Yeah. What advice Thanks. could you give to the to those people? The parents? Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, you know, I mean, you know, trust your child. I mean, this is, you know, they, you, you want your your uh, son or daughter to be happy. 
you know, so. And follow their passion yeah. because that's where they're they're really going to excel. Okay, exactly. now quickly, I know that you and your partner in crime, Patricio, work a lot together. What is the mm -hmm. importance of collaboration within the community, mm -hmm. especially creating content? Yeah, creating a film is, is not a one-person thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe it can be some, for some special things, but for the most part, you, you need that collaboration. You know, there's going to be some struggles. You need someone to bounce ideas off of. And you need, you need all the you know, hands you can get in there. And at the same time, people with a strong vision yes. you know how to steer it correctly. You know, right. So it's not just a bunch Well, of, I, I can mm. say from personal experience that AJ and I have collaborated. He was very supportive that I was a Bruin. And he actually edited, edited my final film in, at UCLA called Pinoy Grease. We'll show you that sometime <laughs> soon. But when we return, uh, we're going to be talking to Patricio and AJ together. Don't go away here on Kababine today. Thank <laughs> you.